welcome to South Africa. It is an epic start to our afternoon, well, to our evening, should I say. As you can see, there's a tug of war between a hyena and a leopard. So what's happened here is a female leopard killed a nyala and her, her and her cub have been feeding during the afternoon. But not more than 150 meters away was two male leopards that also had a kill. And one of the male leopards has run in here with the hyena and they've stolen this kill. And they are now having a tug of war between the two of them. This is absolutely insane. Now I wonder if the female is going to come back this way or are we going to see maybe the other male also arriving here because the other male is a much bigger male than this one. This young male is called Hosanna and the bigger male is Tingana who's his dad and he might arrive. With the noise of these two feeding and fighting you might find that that other male comes in. But look at how the hyena is still eating even though the leopard is trying to drag it away from it. And the hyena is going to use all of its power and strength to be able to try and kind of break this open. And, and pull this and try and get as much out of this carcass as possible. Now it really is quite amazing to see these two predators going at a tug of war between them. Now the male leopard is going to try and grab as much as he can and try and maybe get it up into a tree. So even if it's a chunk or a piece of it, he's going to try and get as much as he can up there or he's going to sit and just feed right next to this hyena. This is absolutely ridiculous. And you can see why they can make short work. But look at how close that leopard's face is to the hyena. Isn't this insane? This is absolutely ridiculous. Now this is not something you're going to see every day. We've been absolutely spoiled by seeing this. So Emruth, the reason why Hosanna is not attacking the hyena is because the hyena is still dangerous to him. A bite from one of those, well, from a hyena's jaws could very well latch onto his paw and could break bones in his paw. Remember their, bo their mouth structure is hugely powerful. I mean, you can see how this hyena is ripping into this carcass. Look at that. They are almost nose to nose. Tingana's coming now. The big male's here. So the big male leopard has also come in. Here we go. Now this is going to be very... There we go. You see? You see? Now look. There we go. He definitely is going to be the boss. You can see how Hosanna ran away straight away. The hyena's gone. And now look at him. Taking it up. Now the hyena's coming back as well. He's going to try and get it. This is just insane. Now the hyena's grabbed the fetus from this baby... Well, baby Nyala that there was inside the mother. There goes the hyena. Hosanna, unfortunately, has lost out but Tingana has got it up in a tree here's Tandi now there's the third leopard here comes Tandi as well so there's the mother she's also here so we've got the mother we've got Hosanna coming in three leopards in the same place look at this this is insane now Tandi's moving off she's calling her cub she's trying to get her cub to try and say come let's get out of here there's too many leopards around there's too much going on and so she's trotting off Hosanna is going to the base of the tree to try and see if he can find some food this is insane now, can you believe what is going on here? This is ridiculous. This is not something that you are going to see every day. There's two big male leopards, well, one very big male leopard and one still growing leopard in one frame. And Tundi in the background somewhere off to the left, you might be able to just see her moving. So three leopards in one shot, which is not what you see very often, especially three adult leopards like what we're seeing now. Tingana is actually urinating. So urinating from the tree is what he's doing. So he's scent marking even from up there, telling all of these leopards and hyenas this is his domain all of you back off you can see the dribbling coming down a little bit it's not easy to see kind of the background is difficult but there you can just kind of see it coming down a little bit so that's him telling everybody this is my carcass this is my area all of you back off and wow that went from 0 to 100 in about five seconds all of a sudden